Hello, dear friends. A very, very good morning. And may God cover you with His grace and mercy, with His compassion, with the faith that each of us need in order to make our own decisions. Let me tell you something, and perhaps this will help you. We want to do God's will, don't we? You want to do God's will. However, it's a battle between God's will and the will of the flesh. There's a war, a huge conflict inside of us between the will of God and the will of the flesh. So, what happens? I pray, I ask God always that He may give me courage, courage, so that I can deny my flesh and do His will. Because without this courage, without this determination, it's impossible for us to do the will of God. Because the flesh, the flesh is the flesh, isn't it? It's weak. Jesus said that. Pay attention. I'd like to also warn you concerning something extremely important, which will help you to make decisions and to face the desires, the will of the flesh. Jesus said that this is the condemnation, and this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light. Can it happen? That's what's been happening. Here's the reason why the vast majority of people, because Jesus also said, many are called, but few are chosen. The chosen ones are few. Why? Because few are those who seek or like and love the light. The majority love darkness. But, Bishop, how is it possible? Well, it's the flesh. Flesh prefers darkness because in darkness, its evil deeds, wicked deeds, are hidden from other people, not from God, neither from the devil. The devil sees, and so does God. So, this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, which is Jesus. Jesus came into the world, and man loved darkness rather than light. More the devil than the light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. For everyone, he also says here, but why? For everyone practicing evil, everyone who practices evil hates the light. You who do evil, you hate the light. If I do evil, it's because I hate the light. That's the reality. He says, for everyone practicing evil hates the light. For example, a person who was hurt, who was afflicted, confronted, wronged, and they want to pay back, they want to seek revenge, they are doing evil. 
It's because they hate the light. And they hate what is good. Oh, but I was wronged. Well, you were wronged. And so was Jesus. The heroes of faith were also wronged. And what did they do? They remained in the light. Jesus said, Everyone who practices evil hates the light and does not come to the light. Does not come to the light. Look at this. Everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not want to come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Because the light exposes the truth. It shows the reality. But he who does the truth, he who does the truth, comes to the light. Look how wonderful. He who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. It's true. Those who practice the truth come to the light. Those who practice the truth, they love the truth. And those who love the truth, those who love the truth are transparent, sincere, truthful. They can be mean, even rude, we can say. But they love the truth. These ones come to the light. And those who come to the light, I complement this here with you, receive the Holy Spirit. But those who love lies, it's impossible for this person to receive the spirit of truth. Because the spirit of truth is the light. That's it. So, for example, a person lives in darkness. Why do they live in darkness? Why do they like living in darkness? Because in darkness, their works are evil and no one can see them. I mean, no human being can see them. Men, human beings can't see them, but God sees them and the devil also sees. And when a person is in darkness, they are serving the devil. That's it. So, because they like serving the devil, they hate the light. They hate serving God. They can even feel sorry for Jesus. Oh, he suffered. Oh, wow. They cry even. They cry when they see Jesus on the cross, when they see the series, the movies, the story of Jesus. They cry, oh, poor him. But they do not want to let go of darkness, which means that they love their evil deeds. They love lies because they like to satisfy the desires of their flesh. So, because of that, this person cannot or they create a barrier, they themselves, a barrier to receive the Holy Spirit because they want to be in darkness. How can the Holy Spirit descend? How can He come upon a person that loves darkness, that loves evil works? They love, they love lies. They take advantage of lies to make money. They have benefits from lies. They are loved because of their lies. And those who live in this world of lies, which means in darkness, and they enjoy it, these people will not receive the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus said that the light came into the world, but men loved darkness more than the light. Majority of people love darkness more, disgracefully. This is the reality. So when you see, when you see destruction, 
when you see these natural catastrophes on earth and floods everywhere, so many deaths, it's not God's fault. God is truth. God is light. The light remains. The light remains in this world. Jesus is the light. Jesus is the truth. So when a person holds on or they incline, they turn to the light, then the light comes to set these people free. And the Holy Spirit, whom we don't deserve, no one deserves, He comes even though He knows that we are flesh. But when we are flesh, but we love the light, the truth, then He comes upon us. For example, in this special meeting that we are going to have this Monday in the middle of the night, at 3 a.m., from Sunday to Monday, at 3 a.m. here in the temple, and also I don't know which pastors and bishops will hold in their states and countries, I don't know. This is up to each of them. But I will be here in the temple at 3 a.m. I mean, starting at 3 a.m. sharp, so we have to arrive before. I will arrive at 2.30 a.m. and be ready to enter the presence of God alongside those who love the light, those who want the light. Perhaps you are this person. You are immersed. You are immersed in darkness. But you say, my God, I don't want this. I want to change my life. I don't want this anymore. I'm weak. I'm frail. Frail. I can't overcome my flesh, but I want it. I want the light. Help me. Give me a helping hand. So I believe that the Holy Spirit has touched me to hold this special meeting, especially for those who say, I cannot rid myself from my flesh, from my desires, but I want to be free. I want the truth. I want to be a new person. Then He touched us to help these people, and He gives us conditions to do so. And that's what we will do this Monday at 3 a.m., so if you want to come, do come, arrive here before 3 p.m. because we will close the doors, the gates at 3 a.m. sharp so that we won't be disturbed by anyone who is late so that we may have the environment ready and appropriate to seek God, to seek the truth and set the captive free so that the Spirit of the Most High may come to meet those who are thirsty for the light, for the truth, thirsty for righteousness in their own life, not revenge, no, righteousness, a thirst to know the truth and be free. Jesus said, when He, the Spirit of Truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth. The Holy Spirit is God. He is the replacement of the Lord Jesus. Jesus came, did the work of salvation and cleansing people from their sins. The Holy Spirit came to replace Him to guide us into this truth in order for us to know what He wants from each 
and every one of us so that we may then follow him so when the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth pay attention dear friends how many times we were betrayed by our feelings our deceitful feelings by our heart how many times we were how many times we are deceived by our heart by our feelings by our emotions our feelings our heart the bible says the heart which is the soul but it's also referring to the flesh our will or our wills the heart is wicked deceitful cruel how many times we are run over by the feelings of our hearts we marry wrong don't we we buy wrong we sell wrong we do business in a wrong way we make wrong decisions we've made bad choices all because we lacked the direction of the holy spirit on the other hand when we have the holy spirit we are then guided we have the direction of the holy spirit it doesn't mean that the holy spirit will control us as robots no the holy spirit guides he shows the truth he convinces us of the truth however it's us who decide to whether follow the truth or not he doesn't take our freedom from us our free will he doesn't do that he gives the direction he guides into all truth so if the person reasons if the person truly loves the light then they submit they submit to the governing of the holy spirit they hear and obey and they reap the fruit of such obedience so when a person for example they have the holy spirit for example i can speak of my own but as an example here the holy spirit guided me to esther the holy spirit the same spirit guided esther to me then we are happy we are absolutely happy why because we matched really well why because we have the same spirit so you want to be happy you first must have the holy spirit after you receive the holy spirit then he will guide you to the person that will complete you the holy spirit is the spirit of truth and if he guides us to a happy marriage here on earth you can only imagine what he has in store for us when we fall asleep here from this world wow this is too great therefore dear friends it's worth you investing in receiving the holy spirit it's worth it it's worth it it's worth you paying the price and i wow i can barely wait for this meeting we will have on monday because people who will come they will come thirsty and i will be here ready to give the water that god has given me to pass it on to share this water that god has given me monday at 3 a.m i mean it starts at 3 a.m 
So 3 a.m. the gates will close, the door of the temple will be closed. If you want to participate, come before 3 a.m., please. Because we have a discipline and I will not get up in the middle of the night here to get upset with people coming late. And you can expect this. 3 a.m. sharp, the door will be closed and we will start the meeting in that peace and tranquility in that environment in the middle of the night where not even the flies are around, right? And we will be in an environment that is peaceful, perfect to receive the Holy Spirit. So arrive early, please. Please. If you want, you have to arrive before 3 a.m. If you come late, you are going to be left outside. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to do anything. Because 3 a.m. sharp, I will start the seeking. We will start the seeking. And it's not fair that those who arrived, or who will arrive on time, will be harmed by those who will come late. No, I won't let this happen. So please, don't get me wrong. If you arrive late, please don't even come. Don't you even come, because the doors will be closed. We won't be there. It's yes or no. Either you want him or you don't. Those who want the truth, the spirit of truth, they have to pay the price and sacrifice for the truth. Isn't it true? Jesus said, for everyone practicing evil hates the light. Everyone practicing evil hates the light. And usually, of course, those who hate, those who do evil and hate the light, they're like that. They have no discipline, no order. They have no, they don't respect the rights of others. They don't respect the things of God. They don't respect even their own things. Their life is disorganized by nature. So if you want to receive the spirit of truth, you have to pay the price. And this is the price. You have to discipline yourself. You have to adjust yourself to the discipline of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light. The kingdom of light is discipline. Did you know that? The kingdom of God is discipline. Did you know that? The Holy Spirit is discipline. Did you know that? It's the spirit of discipline and truth, of righteousness and integrity. So if you want the Spirit of God, then you have to submit to discipline and order. And if you don't want to do so, then that's your problem. But those who want, we are going to preserve them. We are going to keep things in order. So 3 a.m., the door of the temple will close. And those who came great, those who didn't, what can I do? All right, friends. May God bless you all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may He enlighten, may this light that came into the world, that is Jesus, may it enlighten those who love the light, those who love the truth. There are many people, many people who lived in darkness, but they hated darkness. Many people lived in lies, but they hated lies, but they didn't know how to be free. I was one of those people. God set me free because I hated, I hated myself. I hated my life. I hated the way that I was. I hated it. I didn't like it at all. And only Jesus to change us with his Holy Spirit. Therefore, dear friends, 
This is the condemnation, Jesus said, that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. They didn't want their deeds to be exposed. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light. Those who love the truth, they come to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God by faith, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May God bless you, and I see you tomorrow, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God.